Hello. Hi everyone. Hello. How's it going? Welcome in. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Hi Zero. Hi North German. Hi Pinky. What do you mean rip to channel points? Huh? Is there something wrong with the channel points? I'm so I gotta check that out. Welcome in. How's it going? Why the curb gun? I seriously done nothing wrong. I was so productive today. What the hell? Something wrong with the channel points? What's wrong with the channel points? I don't have one million. That's not wrong. That's a skill issue. <laughs> That's just a skill issue. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Damn. Sorry. It's the truth. <clears throat> so how's it going everyone what's up today i was so productive except i didn't do dishes so maybe not productive enough it it's a bug because i can also reproduce the same behavior hi gomo welcome in <laughs> i want a boulder rolled on my back or something have you been using the exercise ball that you got? Stretch out that back. Stretch out that back. But yeah, I was so productive today, except I didn't do the dishes, but I did do the laundry and I hate doing laundry more. So I think that, <laughs> I think that's better, right? What do you mean, err? You seriously come in here and you curb gun me when you're the one who deserves the curb gun? Shake my head. Do your heckin' dishes! I'll do it after stream! Oh my god! I didn't expect... I did not expect, like... Uploading all of this to itch and everything that else that I did today, I didn't expect it to take that long. <laughs> but I guess I'm mostly at fault because I was playing a lot of Folly Fatal. <laughs> So I was studying. I got this um, new Korean textbook. Well, I didn't have a Korean textbook before. I was doing like online lessons and I like high key hated <laughs> the lessons because the language that they used was just, I didn't know how to describe it. It was just very presumptuous. I don't know if that's a good word for it. Like, there were a lot of assumptions that the person who was writing this was making that just made reading it just really irritating. <laughs> so, I recently got a new textbook for learning Korean, and I'm liking it a lot better, so I was doing that today, and I was figuring out how to use a Korean keyboard. Because <laughs> the, the keys don't really match up with English keyboard keys. So I had to like figure out how to use that. And I ended up just using an on-screen keyboard. That's good you liking the textbook. Yeah, I am really liking it. And it comes with like free audio files too, which is really nice. So I can like 
listen to all the pronunciations and try and fail to copy it. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Um, I don't have my Japanese ones in yet, but you know, it'll be a minute. Um, then next, I mean, I emailed people because I'm still doing school stuff. <laughs> My teacher was like, would you like to do extra work in this class for this class to require or to count as your capstone? And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, I'm done with this semester. I really don't want to. <laughs> Can you say some Korean words for us? Um, today I learned, um, 안녕하세요. Which is a greeting, and I also learned, um, kan, uh, hamnida, that, which is thank you. <laughs> That's just what I went over today, which was mostly just a review, but you know, I, I kept like trying to say it out loud, practice it. <laughs> I'm trying to practice pronunciation because like there's a specific way that it's pronounced and I'm not so used to pronouncing words like that <laughs> but it's fun it's fun and the um the audio files they have is really nice too so anyways I told my professor I'm not doing my work <laughs> I'm gonna ask you every stream now so you can practice. No! <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll just bring my textbook over here. <laughs> um. Anyways. I mean, this, I guess that's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, my professor emailed me and was like, you did so much work for this class. Would you like to do a little bit extra to have this class count as your capstone? And I was like, no. <laughs> and the reason for that is that I would have to communicate with some other people in order to get that done. And it is a very busy time where grades are due like next week. And yeah, it's just not going to happen. And I don't feel like rushing, you know. Like you said before, only students graduating this semester could use it as a capstone. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's what I learned earlier in the semester, and then now I have differing, um, I, I have a differing story from my professor. <laughs> so I guess something has changed, but it's too late. Anyways, next semester, I have an internship that counts as my capstone anyways, so I'm like, whatever, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm gonna do this internship anyways, so, you know. They're always changing things, shaking my head, I know. But it's kind of nice that way, then it's flexible, right? Hi, dog, welcome in, welcome, welcome. It's nice, because then it's, like, flexible, you know? Um, alright, and then next, because I'm just telling chat about my day, like, gather around, not the fireplace, it's starting to get too warm for that, we'll gather around the fan, <laughs> gather around the AC as I tell you about my day. Flexible, the opposite of my bag, zero, stretch, oh my god, shaking my head. Zero, you're, you, I hope you realize you're that meme of the, like, the person riding a bicycle and then they put the stick in the wheel and then they fall off the bicycle and they're like, who, who could have ever done this? That's you. <laughs> Why does my back hurt so much? I don't know, maybe because you don't stretch it. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay, so I was playing Folly Fatale. For anyone who doesn't know, it is an indie otome game. Um, and it's really good. By, uh, I, I really like the devs. I played the, the devs other game. Um, Deitsula no Maku Gide. Yeah, that's it, right? I think. <laughs> Which is so good. Oh my god. Which game did you like more? Don't make me choose. Honestly, though, 
Day Solano. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to choose Day Solano. As much as I really, really, really enjoyed Bali Fatal, yeah, that game's just unmatched. It's really up there in like my favorite games, and I'm so sad it's not in English, so I can't make everybody play it. But I really want to. <laughs> it's really so good. And I finished it today. I finished Folly Fatal. So now I'm like a high key brain running over it. Is it one of your top Otome? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I. It's been a while since I've had a game that like has pleasantly surprised me that much as Dates to Lano. Which is, you know, their nickname for it. That's why I'm calling it that. Uh, it is free, though. But, again, it's only in Japanese. And the Japanese... I, I'd like to say that it's, like... Super easy, but there's some, like, complex sentences... In that. <laughs> in that game. But it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Hi, Mel! Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Okay. And then, after that, I... I didn't tweet right away, actually. <laughs> because I realized that it was, like, kind of way past lunch. <laughs> so I was like, oh shoot, I need to eat something. And I did, and then while I was eating lunch, I was... I, I, I like, was watching YouTube too much because I've been watching this Ace Attorney playthrough on YouTube and I was like near the end of this one case and I needed to see it through to the end and it was so BS. <laughs> I like have such a love-hate relationship with Ace Attorney because I'm really enjoying this playthrough and it's like it's an exciting game but there are just some parts of the game that I'm like why does this matter? <laughs> why? Why is it like this? Like gameplay wise the game makes me mad. But story-wise, it makes me happy. <laughs> well, it's lean cuisine, a sandwich. I, I like always have a sandwich for lunch. I don't have anything else in my house. I have bread and I have stuff to put on bread and that's it. I'm not very creative. I literally have the same things for dinner every week as it is. Um, okay, so then I spent too much time watching the rest of this Ace Attorney trial, and then got to the end of the trial, which is really exciting. Um, and then, then I finally made an Itch.io account. <laughs> I really should have done this this morning, but I couldn't help it. I really wanted to play Folly Fatal, so you know. The only thing I know about Ace Attorney is the Miles X Phoenix sh Edgeworth? Sorry, I don't know if I've seen Miles or Edgeworth's first name in a while. <laughs> but yeah, um, I definitely see where they're coming from with that ship, considering that trial. Damn. I ship it. <laughs> it's kind of hard not to. Anyways, I finally made an itch.io account, and then I uploaded my games on itch.io, and then I was spending the rest of the time before stream not doing dishes and trying to figure out how to fix this thing on itch.io, but I couldn't figure out how to do it, so you know what, now it's stream. Where? Here. ta -da! I don't know how to make it pretty. <laughs> I don't know how to make it pee. Dishwashing stream now. No, I don't want to wash dishes. Just ask a dermatologist. How the hell is a dermatologist gonna? Oh, with itch. <laughs> You're right. I'll just, I'll just message my dermatologist friend. Just kidding. I don't have dermatologist friends. Unfortunately. If so, that would be so helpful. 
I recently bought this cleanser that's supposed to help with sensitive skin because my skin's really sensitive and it's bothering my sensitive skin and I don't want to know what to do. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to pay for an appointment. <laughs> I, 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 maybe I should Google my problems. Maybe I should Google my symptoms. <laughs> Need baby cleansers. Does that work? <laughs> do baby cleansers work? Because, you know, what the hell am I supposed to do? You know? Like, when your skin is too sensitive for the sensitive stuff. I don't know. I don't know either. But anyways, I have two games on here. Again, I don't know how to make this look pretty. Eey, there's my mouse. I don't know how to make this look pretty. That's one thing. This is my account page. You can get to it if you want to go to it, I guess. Play the games later. And comment on them and give me validation. Uh-huh. A new command. And I'll probably be tweeting out a link later on after the stream. What I was saying earlier was that channel points are borked. I can't claim or redeem. Okay, hang on one second. Let's go to Twitch and see if I can figure out the channel point. Issue. Sippy? Alright, I'll sippy. I'm mean, claiming channel points, haven't redeemed any because I'm a hoarder at all. Makes? Makes? Huh? None me? What's makes makes? Theater dash corn. Here are his channel points. Um, not, they're all enabled. They're- they're all enabled! I don't know what's going on. Itch. <laughs> okay, the command's kind of- uh, kind of fucked up. One second. <laughs> Can you tell that I made that like two seconds before stream? <laughs> Keep it, it's cute! Fuck no! Hell no! I'm gonna fix that right now! Oh man, I should just end the stream now. How does one make a make? I would really like to know. Where is I in the alphabet? Here we go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it! I fixed the Nightbot thing, I didn't fix the channel point thing, I have no idea what's going on. I do not know. Um... It's- it's working on my end. I do see some people using Redeem, so I'm not sure. It might be... An issue on your end like if you're using mobile maybe update twitch or something or maybe it's just a mobile glitch because there's lots of those uh try refreshing the page and um make sure that you have a verified email maybe because maybe they're cracking down on that i'm not sure it's definitely mobile being a pain okay that would make sense mobile always has some sort of glitches anyways <laughs> back to here I uploaded two games, both of them I made on, or it, with Twine. I'll show off one of them later. <laughs> but there's something that I can't figure out, um, but we'll get to it later. I'll see if anybody here knows how to fix the itch thing. But anyways, look it, this is me! I made my own profile with kind of my side account stuff, because, you know... <laughs> It's- it's side stuff, it's not really VTuber stuff, so I'm using my side identity, which is just more embarrassing than my current identity. <laughs> are these games stream safe? Of course they are. 
Of course they are. They're just text-based games. They're text-based games, and they do not have not safe for work content. Your side identity. Side entity. Yeah, exactly. New games, new games. Yes, these are games that nobody has seen before except for my classmates and teacher. <laughs> Then I'll get my client to stream them. Let's go! Where's the Yandere's? Um, there might be some Yandere aspects, but unfortunately, these games are not Yandere. <laughs> However, there is this. And I, I don't even know if you guys can read this. It's like so tiny. <laughs> So yeah, my my bio that I wrote in two seconds is hello, I love Yandere and metaphysical games. Thank you. <laughs> I'll set this up more later. Um I I was very much rushing to do this all right before a stream, but we're gonna start with one of these games looks significantly more put together than the other. We're gonna start with the not put together game to um <laughs> to act as a way of um controlling chat's expectations of <laughs> what <laughs> so yeah i mean i guess should we start it's a game called crossroads with the tagline what will you become <laughs> and it's the first game i made in twine and i uh, was prompted to make a game based, not based, but like using the format as uh, Queers in Love at the End of the World, which is a game with only one ending. That's basically it. Um, so there's only one ending in this game, but there are a lot of options and a lot of like side paths and Easter eggs and whatnot. So like, I, I think it'll be really exciting and I need to just shut up and play the game. So let's click here. Um, I have it so that it works in browser, but like, I don't think I have the dimensions right. I can figure this out. Anyways, description! After being accepted at the severely capable adventuring mercenaries guild, you're faced with a crossroad. What will you become? Alright, let's just full screen that. And then I'll move around the screen. Hang on! Let's like make this look decent. Uh There. That's probably fine. And we are in the abyss. <laughs> this is default twine, okay? This is default twine. Literally in the abyss. Where is the VTuber option? <laughs> this is an RPG. Do you get to be a VTuber in most RPGs, huh? Mercenary receptionists don't get the respect they deserve. You're so right. Alright, one second. Let me take a sippy and I will do the narration. <clears throat> Crossroads. All oh, respectable RPGs. <laughs> so like, <laughs> one? <laughs> Crossroads. Something that everyone encounters every day. Whether it's deciding what to buy from the market or which road to take on your commute, you will be faced with decisions. After being accepted at the Severely Capable Adventuring Mercenaries Guild, you're faced with yet another crossroads. What position will you take? Alright chat, what do you want? Just shout out. Do you want to be an adventurer, a warrior, a medic, or a receptionist? Just just shout it, shout it out. Receptionist? Okay. You've decided to become a receptionist. The guild is always hiring administrative staff and is happy to see you join. All staff must stay within the severely capable adventuring mercenaries dormitory, which costs 110 gold per month. What task will you take on to pay off your rent? Accounting? Paperwork? I said I want to be a receptionist! Those are the choices. Thievery. <laughs> Which of these do you think will lead to thievery? I mean, one of them might. You never know. Hi, Siri. Welcome in. Little Red becomes Little Receptionist. It's true. We're being a receptionist. 
And yeah, base twine just lets you jump passages, which I don't particularly like, so I got rid of that. But we'll see, we'll see. Alright, alright. Alright. What what path did we want to take? This that game has a lot of options. We'll probably go through them all because I'm proud of them. I'm indecisive. Pick one! Pick one or I'm picking for you! I guess I'll just pick for you. Paperwork? Alright, paperwork. So you've decided to snoop around the guild's paperwork. Oh, oops. I meant file the paperwork. Of course you would never snoop, right? There's file the paperwork normally, snoop a little bit, or snoop a lot of it. <laughs> snoop a lot of it. Alright, let's go. You grab a crowbar and wrench open a locked filing cabinet to see what you can find. But as soon as it's open, an alarm starts blaring. You know you have a limited amount of time to look, so you grab the first document you can. The severely capable adventuring mercenaries. Scams. Method for creating infinite debt. You don't have the chance to finish reading before guild employees take you away and throw you into prison. <laughs> I can't believe you guys figured out scam guilds. Motto from the first ending! Were you actually hired by the guild or are you just a thief? Um, you are indebted to the guild. And I feel like this is just you and Zero writing a narrative. I wrote this all by myself! I'll have you know, I was inspired by Monster Prom though and RPGs. <laughs> this is all the prints. This is all me! You're now in severe debt with the guild. Looks like you'll be working it off for the rest of your life. All you can really do now is hope that your next position will pay more. So what are we going for next? This is this is the game. This is the game. This is it. We we just there's there's yeah, this is it for us. What will we try at? Maybe there will be a good ending. I always like choose your own adventures, so I'm here for it. That's that's what it is. This one is mostly silly, but there are some horror aspects to it in a few of the endings. Receptionist Encore. Okay. All right. There's also accounting. There's paperwork. There's just being a receptionist. We can we can check out the other paperwork endings too. <clears throat> I need to stretch out my back too. How many endings did you make? Technically one. How many paths did I make? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> what what is it? There were four choices initially, and each of them lead to three choices, and each of those choices lead to three more. And sometimes there are extra choices after that. So whatever that ends up in math. I think there's like 60 different passages if I remember correctly. There's a lot. <laughs> this is the game. I think I was talking about how like a lot of my classmates did like five or six um, passages and then I did 60. Yeah. Yeah, that was this game. We're getting a little platinum trophy. Yeah, we gotta get it all. So what do we do next? Kimmy, why do you have so many bad ends in your games? Because I love bad endings. Hi, Zara. Welcome in. <laughs> accounting. All right, accounting. Ooh, you must be good at math. I bet several members of your family suggested that you get into accounting after you got that A plus on your math exam, you overachiever, you. How would you like to utilize your smart smarty pants? Hi, Hayden. Welcome in. Wait a second. Zaro, are you streaming right now? <laughs> Zaro, wait, are you? I like just realized, are you streaming right now? What are you doing here? Go play your game. Hop on Discord. All right, hang on. Let me open Discord. Hello? 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 What, what are you even streaming right now? <laughs> yeah, I was playing your game. You're playing my game? Oh, wait, really? <laughs> yeah, I uh, 
I have gotten the receptionist position and I have gone in dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> shaking my head. Yeah, shaking my head, Kimi. I, I, okay, I, I should probably get your voice on my stream or something. Yeah. It kind of sounds like okay, you're just talking to yourself your, right now. Share your browser right now, Kimi. We are going to play your game together. Oh, okay. All right. Let's do... Well, I guess now I have to open up... Uh... Okay, there. club audio. There. Wow, you shouldn't have done that, Kimi. Do you have YouTube Studio open through Steam right now? Yeah, of course I do. How else am I gonna have it open? I, you know that you can open VTube Studio without Steam? What? You can? How? You can? <laughs> I yeah, didn't can. know that! If you... Okay, go to your Steam right now. Okay... Did open you library... Click on VTube Studio and right-click on VTube Studio. Bro... Uh, manage browse local files. And there you have a uh, start without steam dot bot file. Wait, oh, start without steam. Oh, do I just click that? Yeah. Do I have to restart and it will oh. open. I know it. It is just when you don't have to, when you don't want to have steam open. Oh, okay, okay. I'll have to use. I didn't okay, know that. Okay, what is the password? Oh wait, are we doing... Hang on. Yeah, I am hosting, I guess. Okay. It should be the same password as always, which is not... Uh, spaghetti, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I have typed the password for you, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, t type it for me so I can copy it. Okay, let me also, uh, yeah, pop out your video game now. Oh my gosh, I'm so used to uh, sharing my screen to people, so, oh no, I will have to capture what you are singing me. That's the first time. Are you, oh, joined meow, welcome meow. Oops. Left meow. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, oopsie. Hang on, I'm struggling right now. Uh... Okay, this core capture. Oh no, don't capture VTube Studio. Why can't I move you? Hang on. I'm not sure if it's right hard enough. You're stuck. Okay, you're just gonna be floating there for me. All right, that's fine. I cannot. I cannot <laughs> see you, Kimi. I'm here. I'm here. It's me. It might be taking a while to load because my model. Yeah, weak. because why is your model so big? I'm like ultra HD. There. My gosh, I still cannot see you. <laughs> but I can see your game, which is uh, good enough, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back. Here we go. I still cannot see you, which is a bit... Oh, I can see you now. Great. Am I here? Lovely. Yoy! Finally. Yoy. Okay, so... Uh, okay. How many endings does your game have? Technically one. How long have... How long have you worked on this thing? I made this game in like five hours. <laughs> five hours? Yeah, okay, I, I rushed... I guess you are in the fanfic school, you can ride fast enough, maybe? I, I like rushed to finish this game. Wait, was it your project or something? Yeah, this I had to do this for practice. Um, this was my first twine game that I made in class, 
I had to do it for well, practice. I, I was right about it being twine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, can you can you move move me in your VTube studio because I'm cut off a little bit on the left? Yeah, I'm trying to move you and it won't let me. And I'm like, huh? I is think what something? you... Oh yeah, you oh. cannot move me. What you need to do is... Uh, why do I have to teach you all that stuff, Kimi? I don't know any of this stuff. Okay, I will move... No, I won't move myself. No, I will teach you how to do things. So yeah. you see, uh, if you double click in VTube Studio, uh -huh. there is this icon for connecting, right? Yeah. Then there is this uh, three three people sitting to next to uh, sitting next to one another. If you uh -huh. click that, you can go to you control pos. You see the people in the collab. You can click you control position, and then you can uh, make me move. Wait, huh? Going for a kiss, give Kimi the... What? Kimi, don't tell me yet, you don't have the route plugin yet. Oh, uh, I have no idea how to do this. Kimi, yeah, I, I, am, I am calling you after my and your stream and I am explaining to you how to be a coach darn VTuber. <laughs> I don't know how to be a VTuber. Teach me, senpai! <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't even went to a fanfic school and I am still your senpai. Yeah, oh my gosh. I mean, you teach me VTuber stuff, I teach you fanfiction stuff, right? Yeah, I don't see uh, any options. Thank you, I, I do not exactly... I'm not exactly keen on learning the fanfiction stuff. All I need to know is uh, what self-insert fic means and what lemon means and i think i've had enough that's fair okay wait <gasps> no i figured it out oh my god <laughs> yes wow I'm so congratulations right kimi i'm so happy right now okay 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 <laughs> okay okay yeah i sure i've taken your time wow <laughs> clap 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 thank you <laughs> i'm so proud of myself right now <laughs> Congratulations. Now you just have to um, install the Sprout plugin and make it work even better. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Sprout is a fun thing because uh, right now you're probably using game capture, right? Yeah. For transparency and stuff. And mm -hmm. the problem with game capture is you still have the menus uh, yeah. visible in your OBS, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Sprout, to, if you capture things with Sprout, you won't have those. Oh! Okay, I'll have to install that then. Sprout literally captures the video from VTube Studio and sends it out. Oh, okay. Huh, that sounds very useful. Wait. Extremely useful, even. Yeah. 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 How can you... Okay, never mind. I was... I was baffled at the VTubers who were in this thing for like over a year or so. I still didn't know about either game capture or Sprout, but turns out I had such a person right next to me all this time. I mean, I... Shaking my head. I know how to use VTube Studio. Um, <laughs> I mean, I might have struggled okay, at Kimi, first, but I figured it out. I will ask you one thing, Kimi. Do you know if... Yeah, do you know what uh, the application or audio capture is? Yeah. Or do you just use desktop capture? I usually use desktop capture. <laughs> I've been switching over. I have been switching over lately, but I had so much stuff set up as desktop audio for so long. If you listen, I... I fixed up things once, and ever since then I had so little problems with my setup. I can let... Okay, sure, you will have to most probably capture the game, and every time before the stream you will have to switch to a different game, but this way... This way you won't have to worry about, I don't know, some we weird window sounds popping up. You won't mm -hmm. have to worry about uh, Steam sounds popping up, yada yada yada. It is so much more convenient. You could literally play your uh, trails of games, grind, and 
in the meantime listen to your uh, ASMR Yandere stuff <laughs> in the background <laughs> and your stream won't know about it <laughs> um, I mean, I'm sure stream would find a way to figure out, but I have switched over most of my scenes. It's just this scene I have not. This one's a mess. This is what I usually do my art on. So I haven't touched it. Taking my while. head. You are supposed to be a professional. Well, I'm a student. You know, I'm not a professional yet. I'm a professional in training. There. <laughs> Fair. Mm hmm. Alright. So, Zara, what did you want to do? Did you want to file for bankruptcy, calculate remaining debt, or embezzle money from the guild? That's the choices. Uh, okay, in this case, uh, uh, okay. Oh, you went for the accountant route, didn't yeah. you? I went for. Uh, I went for the just a receptionist route. Uh huh. And I have suffered. Yeah, that's usually how it ends up. <laughs> ah. So, okay, uh, I guess. Oh, you must be good at math. I bet several members of your family suggested that you get into accounting after you're good at A plus on your math exam, you overachiever, you. How would you like to utilize, utilize your smart, smarty pants? First of all, how dare you call me a smarty pants? <laughs> yeah. Second of all, I have already talked about it on my stream when I was tearing your game apart, but uh, what is it with both the theming of a fantasy adventure and the middle school smarty pants A plus math exam? This is like, I, it was kind of basing it off of shonen manga, right? <laughs> shonen manga slash okay, stereotypical what shonen RPGs manga are you basing it on, Kimi? <laughs> what? Yeah, what shonen manga are you even basing it on? Just in general, just very stereotypical ones. I don't know, even if we take uh, some... Okay, what is the lowest common denominator of uh, shonen manga? Like, the worst of the worst? Is that what you're asking? No, the lowest common denominator, hmm. Hey, you know... Uh, okay, know do you know about the picking up girls in the dungeon thing? Yeah, Damachi. It has like 10 seasons of anime. Uh, sorry? I, yeah, Damachi, I've heard of it. Okay, so, yeah, I feel like it is uh, bad enough, but even it doesn't have middle school and the math exams. Gilgamesh? Oh, are you talking about Gilgamesh? Gilgamesh isn't a what? shonen manga! <laughs> what the hell is Gilgamesh? It's a historical tale, it's an epic. Gilgamesh manga? It's not a Gilgamesh manga. Gilgamesh manga. <laughs> Gilgamesh is set in the... What? The it's a manga? It's <laughs> manga written and illustrated by... Shotaro Ishinomori. It was serious in Shonen Gash Gahosha magazine. Weekly Shonen King from 1976 to 1978. Wow. I guess... Uh, yeah, I guess Kuro is a little bit more... What's the word for it again? Cultured? Mm. That's a good word. Oh, now, now when I look up Gilgamesh manga, I get you know who from you know which series. I don't know who from I don't know which series. Don't think that you don't know Gilgamesh from Fate Stay Night. Oh. Yeah, I do actually know him. <laughs> okay, let me... Okay, let me put up the Gilgamesh manga. Uh, is it even showing up on your end? Yeah, it's there. Look at it them! It doesn't look that bad or for like 1978. Yeah, I like their uniform. That's cool. I don't think those are uniforms exactly. Like, they are uniforms alright, but not maybe not uh, cool uniforms. I mean, 
I mean, isn't it from the 90s? <laughs> Kimi, I will tell you the dates once more and you will tell me whether it is from the 90s, okay? Okay. From 1976 uh -huh. to 1978. Oh, I was it's 90s. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Here I am uh, paying so much attention to this history lesson. You can tell history is my best subject, right? I thought fanfic was your best subject. It is. I'm failing history. <laughs> Wait, do you, will you have any more video game projects? Yeah, I do. There, I have a whole nother game other than this one. But this one we're going oh. through first because this one's silly and fun and the other one is... It's okay. different. <laughs> also, welcome Zero of the Anok okay guy. We have just uh, ended up with a collab all of a sudden because I wanted to rip apart Kimi's game. Yeah, this is happening, I guess. So, okay. Shall we embezzle? <laughs> I would never embezzle any money. Uh, mm. I would go for uh, calculating remaining debt because we are well adjusted adults who can handle debt. Okay. Your remaining debt is infinite. It will take you infinite years to repay it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have. We should have failed that math exam. <laughs> that cannot be infinite. <laughs> Okay, fun fact here, I, I this is kind of a placeholder. I originally planned on figuring out how to use, like, variables to figure out how much debt you have accumulated based on the other endings you got before this. However, See I me? didn't know how to do that yet, so... Kimi, so you are saying you were using Twine, uh -huh. and you didn't even get to the point where you set up variables? Not in this game. In this game, I didn't have the time to figure out how to do that. I could have done it when I uploaded it for H, but I didn't really have the time <laughs> today. I literally just uploaded this today. Kimi, I am... Okay, first of all, I am go... After this team, I am going to teach you about I, the Sprout I, plugin. I know and second of all, I am going to teach you programming languages and then you will make games in RenPy. You will thank yeah, me later. Yeah, I, I do want to use RenPy. I was suffering with the other game that I was making. It's the other game on my uh, page. And I was trying, like I suffered just trying to make hotkey support so that you could use the enter button to further text, to advance text. And it was so difficult and now I hate Twine. Okay, I am <laughs> Okay, I am looking it up. Why? Okay, twine. Uh, it's sugar okay, cube. What? I use sugar cube version. Okay, sugar cube. Out of progress button. Wow, sugar cube is really messed up if you don't have such a such a basic button yeah you need to learn rentai yeah twine oh no oh no doesn't allow don't for tell a me lot that we are don't tell me that this is how we start our otome game circle yeah yeah this is okay but at the very at the very least please let if you are making otome game please let me have at least one girl route in there Oh, of course Please. there's gonna be a girl route. Look, a girl route where the main protagonist isn't going to end up alone. Yeah, no, I hate those girl routes where they're like, oh, we're just friends in the end, or nah, we're gonna go our separate ways. Those make me so mad. <laughs> I would never do that. Okay, okay, I can, I can accept it. Imagine this. You have an Atoma game where you have, you know, the main plot with the guys, yada yada yada, not interested, but then you have like one or two routes with girls and they are the most angsty, drama-heavy routes in the game. Yeah. Not related to any other plot at all. <laughs> yeah, I can go with that. Okay. I can go with that then. 
Yeah, okay, I'll definitely do that. Also, question, how do you feel about yandere's? Because I tend to only write those. <laughs> and... Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, I guess it. I can go with that. Let's go! I can go with that. Okay, okay, but what will be the name of our Otome Game Circle then? Um... You know, that's a good question. Wait, what did we use for when we were playing off? Didn't we name ourselves Zaki that... <laughs> Please, oh, no. Or we could oh, call oh, it my, Tanner Games. Oh my games. gosh, Kimi, Kimi, I have, so I have something games. better than I... Okay, I guess... <laughs> I guess I can go with that. <laughs> Wait, but what did Kima, you have? I have something better. Huh. I have something better than Yandere. Let me send it to you on Discord. Okay. You must... This is from a very good manga slash light novel, Adachi and Shimamura, and that scene is so good. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I can. Sh I yeah, like that, that is. I like that too. I like yeah, that for a people lot. who cannot <laughs> see it, uh, I will put. Can I put WebP in YouTube Studio? I'm not sure, actually. Oh my gosh, I can. Oh, let's go. Okay, what? Yeah, what is written there in there? <laughs> Shimamura, what's with you? You know, I'm fine with just you. I don't need anybody else but you, really. I don't. You're all I need. It's not like I'm being selfish. Maybe a little. I'm not asking for much. Am I? Everyone else is whatever. I don't want them around. I found them to go away, but why do you end up going someplace else, Shimamura? Come here. Come over here. Be with me. Just don't leave, ever leave me. Just stay by my side. Just let me be, me be with you. Yeah, Sakimi, when are you reading Adachi and Shimamura? I need to write, or not write it, read it. Yes, I do want to read it. I think, actually, I have the late novels. Yeah. I just oh, haven't that gotten is, around that is to good. I was, I was planning to actually get the light novels myself a few years ago, but I have never ended up getting that big and then because... Uh, you know, students have usually don't tend to have much cash. But yeah. then a few years later, I wanted to get it again, and it is just not available anymore. Oh, like the really? earlier volumes, like I really, really, hmm. like at the very phys physical editions. Right. I mean, there could be some people Next. reselling it on some site, maybe on a resell site. Probably. If, I, if anything, I will probably go for a light novel, uh, for an ebook version. Mm. Speaking of ebooks, actually, I was in a mood for an audiobook recently because... Uh, yeah, I was in a mood for an audiobook. I'm too lazy to read anymore. <laughs> like, okay, maybe it is not, not... This is not exactly true. I like reading, but I like it when I have an audiobook in the background. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm, for like background Like noise. reading with an audiobook in the background is like uh, you No, know, reading the same book Reading the book and having the audiobook going on at the same time This kind of... Uh, it is helping my... Uh, not zoomer brain To fill up the remaining brain space And so it helps but you yeah, concentrate? Some... Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Shut up, Kimi. Uh, okay. okay, so I was looking up some audiobooks, and as you do, and I ended up on Audible. Uh huh. You know Audible, right? Yeah. Uh, do you have uh, sponsorships from Audible? No. Can I do a. Okay, then I won't do an ad run, okay? Okay. We need to get some. Yeah, we need to get some ads on our next episode of podcast. Yeah, we gotta get sponsors. Okay, and it turns out that uh, there's a few kind of fun uh, audiobooks of light novels on there. There's like Monogatari and Spice and Wolf, like you probably know them, right? Yeah. But then there are light novels written by American authors and they are pretty much uh, your most generic, absolutely most generic isekai stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, okay, let me just find a title. 
Oh. Okay, the, the villain is an SS plus rank adventurer by KNG. Let me just download <laughs> there. Do you think I would even listen to it? Like, look at the... Look at the cover for it and tell me that it doesn't look generic. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like, know what sure, to say. It's just not the thing I go to that, for, but really. I wouldn't. I mean, I like villainous, but I don't really like, um, like, isekai stuff. Like, I mean, I know villainous is isekai, but I don't really like the the adventure sort of isekai stuff, which is, you know, ironic considering this game, but <laughs> it's not like I was taking Listen, this game very people... seriously. Some people are like that. They kind of want the isekai, but think that the adventuring is a bit overplayed. So, mm -hmm. you know that there has been a trend of those slow life isekai, which yeah, I also Yeah, I also hate. do not like slow life. <laughs> I like drama. Okay? My gosh, it's, That's about it. It's, it's almost like all the isekai are just bad. Well, there are some good ones, but yeah, they're a bit more rare. Than they used okay, to be. Kimmy, do you want a. Okay, do you want a good drama. Like, romance slash political drama? Yeah. That was going to be long? Okay, yeah. so. Hmm. Let me just uh, remind myself of the title. Uh, so, uh, how much do you know about Chinese novels? Uh, I don't really know that much. I haven't read that many myself. Uh, okay, can I interest you in uh, Dream of the Red Chamber? <laughs> mm, I haven't heard that before. What's it about? Oh my gosh, Kimi, you need to get uh, more culture like your... Oh my gosh, Kimi, tell me if I'm wrong. Was Mao your brother? Yeah, Mao's my brother. Or they imagine that? Okay, yeah, get a brother. bit more culture like your brother, because Dream, Dream of the Red Chamber, also known as The Story of the Stone, is an 18th century Chinese novel offered by Ko Shen King, considered to be one of the four great classical novels of the Chinese literature. I Kimi, you, if and if you haven't read it, you should at the very least know about it. You're I'm a fanfic writer, after I'm, all. I'm sorry for my failure. I'll do better. <laughs> at the very least, you have heard about uh, romance of the Three Kingdoms, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. Journey to the West. Mm hmm. Water Margin. Mm, no. The Tomb in the Golden Vase. No. The scholars. No. <laughs> Kimi, I feel like you, after you finish your fanfic degree, should just take a general literature degree. Well, it is a literature I'm degree sure that... too. We just we don't cover too many classics, to be honest. It's not necessarily yeah, that only, relevant anymore. I guess you only, <clears throat> I guess you only read like American classics, right? No, we read from a lot of different countries. Okay. Tell me about. Uh, okay, tell me about three classic novels that are not from America, and not from Europe. No, I'm from America, and not from Europe. Okay, there's um. <clears throat> There's... And not from Japan. Yeah, there's That from... you've read in your literature course. Yeah, there's Mysteries of the River Plata. That's from Argentina. Okay. Ooh, there's um The Thing Around Your Neck, which is from Nigeria. And... Nice. Really making me stretch here, not... <laughs> Are I you asked sure I can't three. have it from any country three, that's in Europe? Three less than you have fingers on your hand. <laughs> um, okay, one more. 
that we have studied, but not from America or Europe. What's so hard is that I've read so many from so many different European countries. <laughs> but it can't be. Um... Yeah, that is the problem. Like, uh, you take a literature course and all they talk about is, like, Western literature. Yeah. Like, it, if... If they are a bit adventurous, they will tell you about, I don't know, South American literature or maybe African literature or maybe, like, I don't know, Chinese literature or Japanese literature at most. And other than that, uh, not really anything. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it is true. Like, I was... Maybe that's why you don't know about the Gilgamesh from 1976. Yeah, sorry. We didn't read that. Okay, so what's the third novel then? I'm trying to think. Uh... No, that one was UK. I'm just mentally going through all the ones that I read this semester. Are you sure I can't do Japanese? <laughs> you cannot do Japanese because you are a weeb. But that this, is the was, only this was through my class, though. Okay, is it uh, from... Uh... It's not oh anime. Gosh, uh... It's not anime. Okay, so as long as it, as it is not from... Oh my gosh, uh... How could I forget his name? Yeah, at, as long as, as it is not from Soseki Natsume. It's not. Okay, then what is it? It's Strange Weather in Tokyo. I, I haven't heard about it, actually. Mm. I mean, I have a hard time recommending it, but it was an interesting novel. 2001, is it? I don't feel that's classical lit. Well, I haven't... At this point. Not much of it is classical, in fact. I, I don't think I read anything... Well, actually, I have read some later pieces or older pieces, but a lot of the stuff that I read in class has been more recent. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. This is what... This is what our fanfic... Our, our fanfic courses are turning into. We're learning... We're learning from people who aren't dead yet. About my immortal? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I, are you learning about my immortal? Uh, no. Nobody talked about that this semester. I was really surprised. Wow. Wow, that, that is surprising. That's mm -hmm. why you should have brought it up. I didn't feel like it. Shaking my head. Anyway, uh, let's maybe go for our receptionist position again. Okay. There's more okay, in I... accounting, paperwork, and receptionist. Oh, I, I did the receptionist and I died. I don't think there is a happy ending <laughs> in being a receptionist. Where can we get this read? Yeah, um, if you use the command itch. You can get a link to my itch page, and it's called Crosswords. Cross, cross, world, crossroads. That, <laughs> crossroads. Okay, I guess we can be an accountant once more, maybe. Okay. We could try yeah, embezzling. Yeah, I must be good at math, and... Why do you want to go for embezzling the money all of a sudden? Maybe I think it's funny. Like, why do you always want to go for that? Because okay, it's I guess funny. I will, I will entertain you, and I will go for embezzling money because I feel like you would go extra hard for this specific option. Yeah, <clears throat> you're smart about it. Only taking a little bit of money at a time, so they wouldn't notice. You discreetly move the money into another bank account, cautiously making enough to start slowly paying off your debt. Don't you? <laughs> don't you have infinite debt, though? It's okay. You'll be able to pay it off eventually if you just steal the money from the guild. Until one day, you're called okay. into your boss's office. Did you think we wouldn't notice? He asked. 
spinning around in his chair, a Persian white cat smirking at you from his lap as he stroked it. N notice what? You play off very coolly. You are so calm and collected right now. I really thought you would have noticed by now. He shakes his head in mock disappointment. We own all the banks and all He's the hospitals. He's just like me. <laughs> and, and schools and casinos and carnivals and markets and wherever else you may try to run. No! You collapse to the ground full of despair. You can never escape from us. Was the Mario no intentional? Yeah. From the start? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe. How about we become an adventurer after uh, after after all we are in severely capable adventuring mercenaries guild. Why is yeah. the name so long? Um it might uh, it, it might be an acronym for something. <laughs> Scam G? <laughs> I don't know what Scam G is. <laughs> Scam Guild. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, right. let's go for Be an Adventurer then. Uh, Alright. You've decided to become an adventurer. With this position, you have the authority to travel anywhere in the world. As long as you don't hurt anyone during your travels. Fortunately, this license costs 90 gold that you don't have. You're now in debt. Where will you go to try to pay off your debt to the guild? Uh, Kimi, did you get a good grade for this project? I did. I got 100%. Oh, wow. Yeah. I... And now I'm... Sorry, now I'm trying to remember if I have gotten a 100% on any project. But in in my defense, I uh, I wasn't in any humanities course. No, no, no. I was in hard math course, and there uh, all that counts is the proper answers. So it is hard to get everything one hundred percent right. You know? Yeah, you no, wouldn't that's fair. know. I mean, that's how I was in my I science I don't classes. need your pity. No, I but I'm being pity. honest. I don't need your pity. Okay. And, uh, blah, blah, blah. Heck, it made that ma money back in the casino. Okay. Oh yeah, you like the casino, right? Yeah, let's go to the casino. Hell yeah, gambling is fun. What will you play? And then there's slots, blackjack, or bingo. I don't think bingo belongs in a casino. You don't have bingo in your casinos? I don't have any casinos near me. Like, okay, never mind. Let me look it up. Okay. Casinos near me. Bingo is like always the most popular thing in the ca casinos. There was like, wait, is there any open right now? <laughs> oh my gosh, there is, there is a place called something among the lines of uh, illegal casino slot machine saloon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I... Are you gonna go it there? It is open 24 hours, wow. Let's go! <laughs> okay, I'll... A book... Adding it to the bookmarks then. Wait, awesome. oh my gosh, it is... 4 a.m. usually as busy at it, as it gets. It is not busy at all, like, at uh, 6 p.m., but it is the most... Oh my gosh, it is really a night... Yeah, it is really a night place. But do they have bingo? Okay, and yeah. I don't think so. I think they only have illegal um, casino slot machines. Man. Bingo is fun, though. Really? You yeah. think... Are you a granny? Like, okay, you have those granny glasses, but really? I can't help it. I have only granny hobbies. I mean, I guess other than playing games, but like I crochet too. <laughs> Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, I crochet. I read books. Um, I like bingo. <laughs> I'm a granny. I go to sleep early. <laughs> I'm a granny. The granny. <laughs> 
Bingo being granny stuff? What? Uh, sorry, yeah, bingo is granny stuff. I don't know how to break it to you. Oh, so hi, Forth. Welcome in. Sorry. <laughs> I've been so distracted. All right, but what did you want to do? Did you want to do slots, blackjack, or bingo? Yeah, let's go for slots. Slots have the... As long as we go to a good slot machine. Okay, I think I think we'll be able to win. Alright, let me take us to B first. Yeah, take your time, I guess. Oh, and also <laughs> thank you for the sip, German of the North variety. <laughs> I will also sip a little bit. Alright. Slots. <clears throat> Just one more, you say. Just let me pull one more time, you say. I'm gonna get lucky soon. I just know it, you say. I just need a little bit more uh, money, you insist. I kind of forget that pool doesn't only refer to gacha games, but also to, you know, slot machines. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what a lot of slot machines do, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't think I've actually used a slot machine. I, I don't think that many slot machines give you anime girls. Lame. They really should. Maybe people would use them Yeah. More. Unfortunately, yeah. the staff at the casino happened to be working for the guild as well and are, are unhappy with how much money you've been spending. Send you back to their boss with a bill that makes you faint. Now you're in debt again. Oh. Is there a good ending even? Um, no. <laughs> Kimi. Well, um, this we're... The, okay, okay, this... I'm making this game according to how the teacher wanted it to be made, right? We were given this prompt to make a okay, game what was that the prompt? always ends in the same way. And it was based off of this twine game called Queers in Love at the End of the World. Where basically there's only the one ending no matter what you choose. And in I decided... land and her love of tragedies, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, okay, the ending I decided was like, I could have done something morbid like death, but instead I did dead. <laughs> yeah, um, have you heard about Higurashi Nanako Koroni? Yeah, I have heard of it. Yeah, you might, you might like it then. Okay. Yeah, I should read this on stream, it is fairly... Yeah, fairly quick read. I mean, isn't it for into to, like... To <laughs> Pastel Galaxy. Everyone, Hi, Raiders! In position, in position. <laughs> oh, welcome, go, video go, of the X Caden variety. How are you doing today? Hello! I am your host well... today, Saro, and with me is oh. Kimilin. Say hello, yeah. Kimilin. But, 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 but this is my stream! <laughs> Hi, I'm Princess It is Kimilin. also my stream. Have you forgotten I have just hijacked... Your stream from my stream. That's true, actually. Zaro is here now. I guess we're collabing. <laughs> also, did everybody yeah, I know guess. it's Zaro's birthday this weekend? Oh my gosh, it is the case. Yeah! You were playing Fashion Police Squad? What? What is that game? Oh my god, that sounds amazing! What? I need to know right now! Yeah, that sounds like a Kimi game. Yeah, that's absolutely the kind of game that I would want to play. Oh, oh no. It, it, Kimi, do you like boomer shooters? Not really. Is it a boomer shooter, really? Oh, I am. I, I am thought it was so like gonna sorry, be a dance, Kimi. It is a boomer shooter. I thought it was going to be like dance battles. <laughs> I think but there you... was that uh, one kind of oh, rhythm but you game. You slap with... some fashion sense into people. Is it like uh, Akiba Strip? Oh, there. Have you heard about Elite Beat Agents, though? Mm mm. What's that? It is a game called Elite Beat Agents for Nintendo DS. Mm -hmm. You can look it up. It is a rhythm game with mm -hmm. agents. Okay, one sec. Rhythm game. Whoa! Those look like cool dudes! Yeah, extremely cool dudes. Wow. Agents of that. They look really cool, I like them. 
Yeah, when yeah, when are we starting your DS era? Um, when I figure out how to stream from DS. Have you have you heard about an emulator? Um, I I don't know if I've tried any DS emulators before. I don't know. I'm don't telling know. you, do do not try to stream from your DS because you will be in pain. Yeah, I was trying to look for like a capture card for 3DS, but oh, I don't think ha, they're making ha, it anymore. Ha, 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 yeah. Ha, yeah. Ha. Yeah. So basically, if you want to stream from 3DS, you need to um, get a 3DS, which already is will put you around. I don't know how much is a 2DS these days, like one hundred dollars. Uh, probably, probably around maybe there. less. I, I mean, they're not making it anymore, so you might even have to buy it. Used but then or something. you also have to send it some, send it to some person for modding, which yep. will cost you okay. 3DS capture card mod. I mean, I don't think they're making them anymore even last time I checked. There are some people who do that still. Oh, okay, that's... 3DS capture cards and... Oh, there is... Okay, it is hard because less and less people are actually doing it, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, there is this site which uh, I don't even know if it supports Europe or the US, but it has choose cable and it is like two hundred dollars for a mode. Yeah, it's and, really expensive. Yeah, yeah, and even for self-install it costs like one hundred twenty dollars. Yeah, it's just uh, I don't know. I guess it's not gonna happen unless I can figure out an emulator. Yeah, you have to. You have to have a console already, and then you have to send it to people to mod it. Yeah, to mod it, and mm -hmm. it costs a ton. Theoretically, yeah. you can get a new 3DS, and then you can, yeah. Oh my gosh, what's the word for it? You can get that uh, custom firmware on there, and then yeah, you can the, stream it. The... Yeah, stream the games, but it is also not the best option from what I've heard. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it'd be very stable. Just emulate it, Kimi. Oh, I gotta figure out an emulator, but I I'm good for now. I have a lot Metal of other DS. games. A lot of other games to play first. Like my own game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go for an adventurer option then. Okay. Adventure again. And then there's wilderness. Thank carnival. you. Let's make the money back in the casino. Okay, back to the casino. What do you think we'll have better luck at? Slots. Slots again? You know, you never know. Maybe you will win it big this time. Okay, you're right. Just one more, you say. Just let me pull one more time, hey. you say. <laughs> I'm gonna get lucky soon. I just know what you say. I just need a little bit more money, you insist. Fortunately, the staff at the casino happen to be working for the guild as well and are unhappy with how much money you've been spending. They send you back to their boss with a bill that makes you faint. Now you're in a severe Maybe debt. next time. Yeah. All okay, right. adventurer. Alright. Let's make money back in the casino. Okay, back in the casino. Galvani game. Slots? I don't think slots are a granny game. Oh, granny game. I thought you said money game and I was like, uh, slots? <laughs> All of them are supposedly money games. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Alright, granny game. You were so close to winning, but then that granny who won 10 no, Robbie. <laughs> It's when you knew about it. It is a granny game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then that granny who won 10 rounds in a row won yet again. Finally fed up by this old lady who is obviously cheating. You flip the table, sending all the bingo cards scattering. The granny cries out in alarm. And you are instantly detained by guild employees. She's cheating. She's a fraud. Listen to me. Just look at her. But no one is listening. But no one is listening to you as you're dragged away. All the men holding you comment about is how much you you're gonna be fined for causing a scene. 
Just before you're forcefully escorted out of the building, you swear you catch a triumphant smile on the old lady's face. Why is the hyperlink on the smile? It's to highlight it. You know, maybe... Okay, do we maybe... have any other cool trivia about this game? Maybe the granny will show up later. <laughs> maybe there's a few Easter eggs. You're smiling right now, are you not the granny? Maybe. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, then you choose now. You choose now. I am so done getting in debt again and again. Okay, it should I... be your job. I think I'm gonna go for a medic. Alright. You decide to become a medic. Unfortunately, you're not qualified for the position. The guild receptionist informs you that there's a few schools you can go to in order to learn what you need to know. Which will you enroll in? There's the small town community college. The severely capable adventuring mercenary school. Oh, are we going there? Okay, alright, alright, alright. Yeah, what does... Yeah, what would be wrong with it? Alright, I mean, we'll see, right? <laughs> Welcome to the Severely Capable Adventuring Mercenary School. This is a school funded by the Guild, for the Guild. As such, this school has a low admission of only 90,000 gold per semester. We suggest students work a part-time job- The cheaper than the fanfic school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we suggest students work a part-time job while attending class to get a head start on repaying their debt. What will you do? Apply to work as a barista at a nearby cafe? Take all your classes in one semester so you have the lowest amount of debt or rebel against the system. Let's go for the second option. It sounds like a Kimi way to do. Yeah, I agree. I like this one. Hell yeah. 40 classes in one semester? Ain't no thing. You be out here chugging energy drinks at 3 a.m., studying for class at 5 a.m., taking an exam at 7 a.m., studying again at 9 a.m., chugging energy drinks at 10 a.m., eating your homework at 11 a.m., attending class at 12 p.m., chugging more energy, 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 energy. You end up collapsing during midterms and being taken to the hospital. You fail all your classes, still have to pay for them, and now you have ridiculously expensive hospital bills to pay for. Great job. Are you writing from experience? I don't know what you're talking about, what? <laughs> did, um, did the professor in your fanfic class see that exact route? I don't know, actually. My, my, my professor didn't really talk about this game specifically that much. Okay then, okay, then what game did your professor talk about? My other game that's on itch. That's a lot better than this game. Wow, can we look at it? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's become a warrior then. Okay. You decide to fight some things, or er, become a warrior. The receptionist has you sign a bunch of papers about a bunch of boring stuff, like how the guild isn't responsible for any medical bills or healing you. May she was require... quick to answer that. Kimi, are you embarrassed about your other game or something among those lines? Um, I'm not embarrassed. It's just that I think it's better to go through it in one straightforward um, playthrough, and I feel like we get distracted very easily. Nah, no. do we ever do we ever get distracted? All the time. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay, a bunch okay, of boring. Then, uh... Yes. <laughs> Helia staples there. Wow. Kimi, have you ever tried uh, doing? Yeah, stapling your wounds together. Um, no, I don't have the money for staples. Remember, we're in extreme debt. There. Alright, the guild isn't responsible for any medical bills or healing you. May require blah blah something about 150 gold fee for every request Can I fight that you the babies? take. Blah blah. Who cares? Just pick something to fight already. Alright, yeah, there's easy pay, pray for babies, the middle boring option, and the super badass dangerous fights for badasses. I want to fight the babies. 
Okay, easy prey for babies. The receptionist hands you a list of beginner-friendly monsters to fight. Looking relieved with your choice. Which one should you hunt Bobby down lead. first? There's a slime with an ambiguous enough design not to get accused of copyright infringement, an innocent-looking weasel-like creature, and something named Tom. Well, what one would you suggest, Kimmy, the game creator? I like the top one, the slime. That seems like Let's a good... Let's go for something named Tom. Okay. <laughs> Tom turned out to be some sort of dark creature wearing a hood. It seemed a bit creepy, but when you finally spotted it, you learned just how small it is. This is gonna be an easy request. You walk up to it, full of confidence, too arrogant to predict what happens next. The creature lifts its arms slowly and touches you. Just the tip of one finger is enough to take you out. You wake up in the hospital, disoriented, confused, and horrified. And now we're in debt again! Yippee! I feel like our character is a pushover. I think so. Maybe we need to go um have a training and arc. grind. Yeah, we gotta grind. Yeah, it's a final okay, fantasy how can reference. We grind then. I cannot believe that you're a final fantasy girly. Yeah, I am. I mean, I only really played a few of the games. Sorry. Okay, you're a final fantasy girly. Name all the Final Fantasy games. Okay, Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy... Do I have to keep going? Okay, so <laughs> tell me one thing, Kimi. Hmm. Uh, which game in the series is Final Fantasy 3? I don't actually know. I never played it. Final Fantasy 3 is actually a sixth game in the series because when they were releasing it in the US, the Final Fanta they named Final Fantasy 6 Final Fantasy 3. What? Why? Even what? babies know Why? that. Why? Because they started releasing Final Fantasy games, I feel like um, they weren't releasing the same games in the US as they did in Japan, so they were a bit of a. Uh, Difference in naming. But that's so confusing, man. That's so upsetting. Now I'm upset. The best thing is when they released Final Fantasy 7 in the US, what did they call it again, Kimi? Final Fantasy 7? Remember that Final Fantasy. Yeah, because they named Final Fantasy 6 Final Fantasy in the US, then what did they call Final Fantasy 7? Didn't they call it Final Fantasy 7? They did! They just skipped four games! Yeah, I bet that wasn't confusing at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually knew that because I actually played Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> wow, that is no don't. Okay, how many Final Fantasy games you, uh, have you played? I've played seven. I played, uh, ten. Of course you have played seven. Everyone and their mother have played seven. Have you? No. <laughs> so it's not everybody then. So uh, listen, I, I can play Final Fantasy seven remake and it will be enough, right? Yeah, probably. Honestly, I don't like the OG Final Fantasy VII. That's probably a hot take. Have but, you played you know. Final Fantasy XIV? The uh, well-known no. MMORPG? No, I haven't. Oh, you have not? I, I hate the UI. Okay, in this case, I let can't. Me, I can't. I hate the UI. Let me send you the free trial, Kimi. No! I will also send you a mod to change no. the UI so we can play oh. together. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm okay we, with we'll that also then. get Mook to play Final Fantasy XIV then. Oh, that's a good idea. We wow, should do that. Wow, it would be so fun. That sounds okay, like let fun. Okay, let me add her to the call. Alright. Hi, mate. Welcome in. I don't think... Uh, I don't think... It... Oh, I forgot that uh, Moop is called Emu Otori on my Discord. Wait, why? 
because she is almost like MO03. Have you not played uh, Prodrexica? Sorry, Prodrexica Colorful Stage uh, Stage featuring Hatsune Miku? No, I don't play gacha games. Fair. It, first of all, it is mainly a rhythm game. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I you don't that. have to. I'm bad at You don't have to too. engage. <laughs> wow, you you have. <laughs> You have rhythm game arcades in the US and you still don't play rhythm games? Wow. I mean, I don't have arcades near me. I live in the middle of nowhere. Remember, like, there's a whole... Wow. There's huge patches of just nothing in the United States. Remember? All the middle place. Wow. Where nobody lives. That's where I happen to be. But yeah, speaking of uh, Miss Mubin called Emuotori on my Discord, do you remember what your... Yeah, what do I have you named on Discord? Um, is it still TikTok Enjoyer or did you change it? No, 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 I have changed it. I'm surprised that you didn't remember it. Dog woman to be. God. <laughs> now I remember, now I'm upset again. <laughs> I still have Why you as block happy. Dog woman to be? I don't like that. Why, why did you call me block happy? I have not played Minecraft in like a decade or more. It's not talking about the Minecraft block. Okay, then what blocks? <laughs> um, you trying to block me on every site ever. Oh, it, okay, fair. I was thinking about uh, Tetris or something, but <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this figures. <laughs> I just like blocks, okay? You know, that's fair. I can't really blame you for that. Let's see. I've also played a little bit of 13, but I got sick of it. And I played 15. Wow. I have 16. And you call yourself a Final Fantasy girly. I mean, I played a few. It was better than zero, right? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Is Moo busy? I don't know, I haven't uh, messaged with her because f I thought it would be rude to just uh, force someone into a collab like that. Oh, okay, but you're okay with doing that to me? You are different, okay? What? <laughs> Am I special? Uh, how do you add people to a conversation? I don't know. Maybe yeah, I good question. Oh no. I can click add friends to DM. Okay, maybe. Oh no, I would have. You already have a group with these people. Are you sure you want to create a new one? Okay, hey mob, do you want to join? in on our uh, do you have any cool fanfic word for impromptu um i don't know sudden i feel like impromptu is probably the best word to be honest okay i guess we'll go for impromptu do you remember how to spell impromptu i m p r O M T U question mark? Oh, I forgot a P. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure. Hey, do you want to understand. join in on? Yeah, lovely. Um, cool. I guess she will reply to us in twenty-four. Uh, yeah, twenty-four business hours. Yeah, anyway, sure. um. Yeah, so let's go be a warrior again, shall we? Yeah, alright. We have a few options here. Wow, uh, we can beat up babies again or something. Okay, cool. Do we want to be at the slimes this time? They are very weirdly insistent on the slimes, actually. Maybe I like slimes. Also, Kaiden, thanks so much for the raid again. Definitely go get some rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can go for the slimes then. Okay. 
You encounter a small slime-like creature with a perpetual smile that looks vaguely familiar to you. You scratch your head, but you just oh, can't- Maybe everything was just references to different uh, RPG series? Maybe. <laughs> but you just can't quite place where you might have seen this creature from before. You shrug and easily defeat it with a single punch. Unfortunately, the reward for hunting down this slime didn't amount to nearly as much as it cost to accept the quest. So now the receptionist won't allow you to fight anything else until you pay off your debt. We're in debt again! Why would you have to pay for a quest? Uh, you, you accepted the conditions. It is... It's a scam, I feel like. Oh, oh no. The kill couldn't be scamming us. No. No way. I feel like they have scammed us. No. I don't think so. Okay, you choose now. You choose okay. the good ending for us. Alright, I think we're gonna be medic again. Do we Why do you always choose medic? Maybe I like the medic one. Maybe I wanna go to the big city BB University. Okay. Big city BB University, let's go. Hey, bruh, sup? Heard you're new here at BBU, uh huh. Tuition is like a um, hundred thousand gold per semesh, <laughs> you know, dude. What you gonna it's do? It's a mess. Haha, <laughs> loser. Is, is it a word from your uh, yaoi fanfics? Stop. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> wow, wow. If we can Good get a job that your professor didn't recognize that word. No, it's okay. All my professors really like Yaoi too, so it's fine. Oh no, eh. Punch that guy. Uh, wait, okay, we're gonna punch him? Alright. This guy sounds like a jerk. You punch him right in his stupid jerk face. Unfortunately, he's ten time, times larger than you and easily crushes you like a pancake. He spits on you and calls you a loser. You certainly did lose there. You pass out and wake up in the hospital. We're in that again! Wow. What a loser. I know, right? We're so lame. We need to get strong. Wait, it was... It was... It was your decision, if anything, you were that character? Hey, I didn't choose to punch that guy. That was you. <laughs> I just wanted to go to beef you. I just uh, suggested you should punch that guy. It wasn't my decision. But and it is all your decision, right? I don't okay, have access, you know, access you know to what, your browser. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to go to BPU and wanted to offer him a bro handshake. The bro shake, bro shake, bro shake. Yeah, yeah, bro handshake. You hold out your hand and he doesn't miss a beat. Shake, wiggle, hip check, slap on shoulders, patty cake. He knew all the moves. You're impressed as you test What the hell is patty cake? It's like that little game that you play with like clapping hands together. You're impressed That's called as... a patty cake? I think so. <laughs> I don't actually know. <laughs> You're... Have you never done that with your beefy friends, Kimi? I don't have many beefy friends. I don't think you should be writing about the beefy, f yeah, beefy people if you don't have any experience with them. This is my fanfic, Zaro. <laughs> this is my fanfic. Let me Kimi write what I want. Kimi demonstrates as if Zaro can actually see her hands. Okay, I that's fair. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I can actually see her hands. Yeah. Yeah. Can just in my imagine YouTube studio them. at least I can. Oh my gosh, yeah. If you look at my stream, you can also see Kimi's hand for a second now, and now they are gone again forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're right there. I, I have hands, believe it or not. Alright, you're... <clears throat> you're but impressed I, as I you... didn't quite notice <clears throat> legs. I can't believe that Kimi doesn't have legs in this model. I do, though. Did they not load? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't have them, yeah. Yeah, I do. I do have them. Are you trying to trick me into showing off my legs? No. Why would I? That was... Oh. Alright, well, Siri... Just insisted, so... Okay, I'm going tiny. See, I have legs. 
I don't know. I, I don't know. Your stream closed for me just this moment. I don't know. I feel like you're just joking right now anyway. And uh, yeah, what do, yeah, what are we doing next, Kimi? I'm reading out the rest of the bro handshakery. Yeah, go on. All right. But are confident that he won't know this next move. Oh, that's not great grammar. That's okay. I'm not going to fix it. You clasp his hand tight and tug him forward, wrapping the other hand around him in a gentle hug. He, the perfect bro, matches your final move perfectly, surrounding you in seriously impressive muscles. I never thought the day would come when I would experience the bro handshake that ends in a hug. The bro sniffles, his teary eyes meeting your own. Nothing is quite as emotional as a bro handshake I that ends in a hug. I always knew you would like Barayaoi. <laughs> let me, let me, let me enjoy the yaoi. You anyway. Stare, you stare into each other's eyes, lost in this magical moment until crack. Your spine can no longer handle the intensity of the hug, and your new best bro needs to carry you to the hospital. <laughs> and we're in debt anyways, but I like that. I like that ending. <laughs> Congrats. You have broken your spine. Yeah, but at least you got a new bro. I don't think we are still getting out of the debt, even with the bro. That's okay. We can be in debt together. That's what bros are for, right? I would never take on your debt. I have better what? ways to spend my money. What? You're saying you wouldn't... You wouldn't go in debt with me? No. What? I thought we were bros. Anyway, yeah, uh, thank you for the collab. See you next time. Bye. <gasps> and where is the end? What? No! You can't just you okay, can't just then leave what... me. Yes, leave I me can. Leave me hanging, bro. Wow, bro. Wow. I can leave if I want to. This is such a bra move. Stop stealing my vocab, Kimi. I'm trying to... I'm trying to speak to you with your own words. That you can understand. How dare you. I'm anyway, sorry. let's become an adventurer again. Why okay. not? Adventure... Are we gonna try the casino again? Did you really write this much text in just five hours? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was I guess, due, um, like, the next yeah, day. Yeah, I guess figures for you. Yeah. Oh, so you did it... Wow. I... I thought you'd be a good student that wouldn't do everything on the day before, but I guess I was wrong. I had way too much homework over this semester. I kind of had no choice but to do everything last minute. Other than, like, the last half of this semester hasn't been too bad. Like, I got wow. finished with my... Uh, the school semester isn't even over until the end of this week, and I already finished everything on Monday, so, you know, you you can be proud of me. Alright, now... Did I you have, one. like, exams or something? Yeah, I did have one. But, like, in the next week? Mm -mm. Did you have something to study for? No. I'm all done. Wow. Thanks for the sippy. Then what? Then what is... Yeah, for what reason would you even go into your classes for uh, during the next week? Um, I have a club meeting. That's it. Wow. But there's no more classes. Okay, what club are you in? Again, I think I um, have already asked, but... Uh, I'm in literature club. Well, I thought you would say bingo club, but... Okay. <laughs> no, but there is bingo. Why is there bingo in your literature club? Oh, it's not in the literature club, it's just in the university. I, w I thought you were in a fanfic school. I Why Sorry, is there bingo it... in there? Is it a bingo university instead? Well, it's anime bingo. What? Yeah. You heard me? Yeah, let's go to the casino. Okay. Blackjack? Blackjack. Over. Under. Over. Under. Over. Under. 
over, then under, under, then over, over, under, over, under, over, under. The numbers. They aren't on your side. The numbers are a deception. Oh, why can't you win? Something isn't right in this casino, you scream. The guild is in control of the numbers. Why can't anyone else see it? You're dragged back into the guild headquarters, all while muttering about the numbers, the numbers, the numbers! Kimi, I think something is not right. We have tried all the options in the casino and I'm still not out of debt. I think the casino might not be the answer to solving our debt. Huh. I thought it would end up different. I thought if it would end up with me having a bunch of money. Well, maybe, maybe our next position will get us a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, let's go then. Uh, what do you want to do now? Let's let's be. Are we going to go again. for a? Oh, I thought he would go for a medic again, but okay. We can. No, let's go be a receptionist. Okay. All right. I want to do one of these receptionist endings. All right. Okay. Okay. I get it. Jeez. Who do you want to help out first? And there's retired magician, the great wizard of the end, Malthazor, or someone who looks like a newbie. Go for a newbie then. We can scam okay. him. That sounds good. That's, uh, you know, that's what the guild wants us to do, right? Yeah. You looked up to see. Unlike in real life, gambling cannot solve your financial <laughs> problems. So true. So You're right. true. You're right. Anyway, you Skimmy, can you can you can you lend me some money because I need to go to the casino again? Uh, okay. But I'm only lending you five hundred dollars this time, not five thousand. Because you okay, lost all yeah, my $5,000 before, you know. So, I'm only going to give you... We have rose, right? Yeah, yeah, we're $5,000 yeah, is nothing between us, right? It, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's why I'm not, it's not saying you need to pay me back. Yeah. But, but I'm kind of running out of money, bro, you know, so... Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I need a, I need a good... A good spin on the roulette, and it will be all back. Oh, okay, alright, alright, I'll, I'll give you some money, bro. Sure. Okay. You, you look, look up to, to see. see... Wait. Oh, you gonna read it? No. <laughs> you look up to see you. You wouldn't mistake that face anywhere. You recognize it from examining it in the mirror every day. You must have traveled back in time or something. You recognize this moment as the one where you first entered the guild, but now you're on the other side of the counter. Maybe you can stop yourself from making a horrible mistake. Maybe you can stop yourself from falling into the guild's hands. Do you stop yourself or do nothing? Let's stop ourselves. Okay. We won't be in debt. Good idea. Did you really think that would work? Did you really think you could free yourself from us? That is inevitable. The guilt is unstoppable. You should just give up now. Give up, give up, give up, give up, give up. Wow. Uh, and what did it say in the... Yeah, what did it say on the itch.io page? You like meta games, huh? Yeah. I love Yandere and metaphysical games. What yep. the hell do you mean metaphysical games? Um, well, I think you'll see if you play the other game. <laughs> okay, then let's go to the other game. No! <laughs> we get too distracted. It's almost like you are. It's almost like you don't want to see the other. Yeah, you don't want me to see the other game. Well, not if you're gonna tear it apart. Shaking my head. Did it's getting want... hard because we have gone so many... Yeah, we have gone for so many ways and we still haven't found a way out. Maybe next time we'll be able to. Yeah, let's become a medic. Okay. What, what school do we want to go to? At the small town community college, yeah. That, that would, won't be as big, maybe? Yeah, that one sounds cheaper, alright. Hi, cutie. I heard you're YN, the newest student at this school. I'm your roommate. My name is fictional character name, but you can just call me FN. I can show you around the school if you'd like, or I can help you get settled in the dorm. I have a feeling we're going to be the best of friends, YN. What do you want to do first? We can look around the school, settle into okay, the yes. dorm. Okay, let me ask you this. Is this a reference to self-insert fake, or is yeah. it a reference to you not being... 
Okay, the other option was you not being able to do barrier boost, but I guess it works for self-insert fix. Yeah, it, it's it's intentional. It's self-insert. What happened to my glasses? Man. <laughs> yeah, it's it's self-insert fix. All right, we can look around the school, settle into the dorm, or smooch FN. Yeah, yeah. Let's look around this dorm, uh, the school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't go in that hallway. There was a murder there last spring. FN helpfully warns you with her, his, their cheerful voice. Or in that one, FN adds, Oh, look out for the ghost in the music room, YN. FN says with a cute smile. It seems like everywhere you go, there has been either a murder or a horrible accident. You start to wonder if the school might actually be cursed or something. But FN is pretty hot, so you decide to stick it out. That is, until you notice that her, his, their feet aren't actually touching the ground, but instead are floating. Yep, college debt be damned. You hightail it out of there like your life depends on it. And now you're in debt. Ooh, that's rough. Wow, you really like adding a lot of jokes into this, huh? Yeah, it's funny. Should I change your name on Discord to... Wait, wait, what did FN mean again? Fictional character name. Really? Why is it three words but only two letters? Because it's to match with YN, which is your name. Wow. Okay, let's become a medic again. Okay. At the small something something. Small town community college. Alright. We can settle into the dorm. Yeah, let's settle we'll into the dorm. Okay. You know, FN says twiddling her his their thumbs after you've unpacked your bags. You're both Is this really it. how is this really how self insert fix read? Yeah. yeah of the is... whole her his their I really? mean, if you wanted to come up with a fictional character, we could just insert them into this. Like, I don't know. And their pronouns, too. Like, also, in, in a real self-insert fix, is this also YN? Yeah. Wow. I would think that I don't know, maybe... Maybe AOF would let you do add a little bit of JavaScript so it would replace the text with your actual name, but I guess no, it, it will be YN instead. Yeah, I don't know if many people who post on AO3 even know JavaScript. The things you have to do to be able to read self insert fix. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta encode it yourself, I no, guess. No, I, I do not get it. Right. I will never read a self-insert fic. Especially, yeah, especially not about Komaeda. Oh, is that who you wanna you, uh, replace the fictional character no, with? No, that's a reference to your secret uh, AO3 account. Oh no, but like, we can... We, we can make this about Komaida if you want. You have many response to show that you are listening after FN goes silent. She, he, they take a breath before continuing. <laughs> I'm so happy to finally have another roommate again. I didn't think I would get another one, not after FN trails off. You're so curious, but something in FN's expression tells you that you shouldn't ask. Part of you wonders if you might regret knowing. Yeah, what do you want to do now, Kimi? We can ask or we can not ask. I want to ask. Which would I'm you curious. like to do? I'm curious. Well, What's in the this worst case, that let's could not ask. Oh, okay. You decide not to ask, respecting FN's privacy. Instead, you settle in for the night, excited for a college life that's sure to be special with such a cute person as your roommate. But soon enough, it becomes clear that something isn't right. Somehow you feel lighter than before. 
Every night you go to sleep early, and every morning you feel almost as if you're missing something. Like your center of gravity is off, or like you just lost a bunch of weight. You're eating as much as normal, but somehow it feels like something is missing. Like you're a void. Like you're disappearing. Like there are stitches on your stomach that you don't remember being there the day before, and like FN's teeth smelling like iron, and like living inside of a horror movie but not feeling the fear, never feeling the fear even though something is wrong, very wrong, and you don't know how to escape. Why does the outside of the school look emptier than your torso? When will you wake up? Because this has to be a horrible dream and you have to escape and you can't take this anymore and the apathy is tearing you apart. You don't know your name anymore and the only person who talks to you only calls you YN. And what does YN even mean? And you're tired and you're light and you're afraid to wake up but you're even more terrified of staying asleep and suddenly you wake up to a doctor handing you your discharge papers after a long hospitalization and we're dead again. Wow. Wow, I cannot believe you did uh oh it was all a dream ending. I had to, I couldn't help it. The temptation is always there to just retcon everything. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, in this case let's uh, ask uh, what F N this time. Okay. You can't help it, you ask. FN smiles at you and then says with adorable cheer, I ate them. You gasp awake in a white room. Is this room. what you... Did you rip it off from your Mystic Messenger or something? No, I didn't write about this in Mystic Messenger. I didn't even sure. write... I, I didn't write self-insert for Mystic Messenger. I only wrote third person, it was so difficult. <laughs> You gasp awake in Why is writing in the first person so difficult for you, huh? Uh, cause the protagonist doesn't have a default name and I didn't name them. Wow. So I kinda had they to They don't like... even have like a community name or something like... You know how in Persona 3 the main protagonist is... I don't remember the name of the protagonist of Persona 3, let's call him John. Like, they yeah. usually call the protagonist of Persona 3 John. Isn't the case for Mystic Messenger too? Uh, no. For the most part, people refer to her as MC. But that's not really much of a name. You yeah, could make that uh, her initials, like... Uh, what name starts with M? Well, I mean, there's a lot of them. I, I like, considered that idea. Like, uh... Name that starts with M, like for example Mary, and the uh, names, last names that start with C. Yeah, we could call her Mar Mary Christ or something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's up, Kimi? <laughs> yeah, you know you're so right. I should have done that. Mary like Genshin the calling the main character the Traveler or Star Rail where they call MC the Trailblazer. I... Why did I have to learn stuff about Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail? It is your fault, Kimi. You're the one who invaded my stream. Fair. <laughs> Still your fault. Oh, you yeah. are asking for it. What? Uh-uh. Uh-huh. You gasp awake in a white room. Machines beeping around you. A doctor rushes in to check your vitals and explains to you that you've been unconscious for nearly a month. You ask about FN in the small town community college, but the doctor has no idea what you're talking about. According to her, you were found passed out in front of the guild. They now want you to pay for your hospital bills. You lie back against your pillows, unconcerned with that for now. It's all okay. It was just a dream. It's just a dream. Right? Well, right. you're dead. Yay, it was just a dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did you want to fight some things? I feel like you just want to fight some things, so Always. okay. Always, that's how I play every RPG. We can. We yeah, can... let's fight some babies. Oh, okay. Did you want to fight the last baby, the weasel-like creature? Yeah. Why not? 
Haha, <laughs> it's just a furry little weasel. How tough could it be? You thought, mockingly, only to cry like a little baby when it started fighting back. Some things that you learned after encountering the weasel creature that you didn't bother to research ahead of time were 1. It's fast 2. It has sharp claws 3. It can fly? That's all you could really do was huddle into a ball and endure cut after cut until Do another... the weasels have... Uh, uh, yeah, can weasels fly? Um, not in real life Then but... why can it fly here? This is not real life. Is this another <laughs> reference? It may be. Okay. Is it a reference to, I don't know, Xenoblade Chronicles? No. Okay, then what is it a reference to? It's actually a reference to a book. A book series called Beneath the Dragon Nine Moons. Wow. I can't believe you made a reference to an actual book, you gamer, Dorogatory. Yeah, I'm a gamer and I'm a literature nerd. I'm I'm so powerful. <laughs> like that's like the worst of both worlds. What? But I think that makes me anyway. Cool. You're I'm humbled cultured. and embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> I guess I am. All right. But also, it's... thank you for coming. See you next time, Lane of the Seri Variety. See ya, Sari! Bye-bye! Okay. Oh yeah, also welcome underscore Brie of the Amaris variety. We were supposed to be playing this guy, but uh, somehow it turned into this. Hey, Kimi, let's, let's switch to this Gaia then. I will share it to you and you will try to make sense of what is happening. How about that? Are you playing the first game? The second game? Oh, I like the second game. Hi, Cory, welcome in. Oh, why? I'm surprised that uh, you have played it or did you play it or not? No, I did. I played all of them except for six. Uh, I don't think I played six. No, they... I didn't play six. Okay, I'm surprised that you have played more this guy than I did. Okay, maybe one of us is the true this guy player here. Hey, uh, shut up. <laughs> Okay, hey, in this case, let me quickly open up this Gaia too. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Give me a quick second. I will. Oh no, I will have to move the collab audio to that scene. No, oh, no. Well, if you're gonna go play this Gaia, then I'm gonna go back and get the rest of his endings. No, you're coming with me, Kimi. No, I said I would finish, I would show off my games today. You're coming with me, Kimi. No, you can't make me. <laughs> I am I am opening this guy at two and you're coming with me. Uh-uh. I don't have to watch guy, it. Yeah, too. I don't have to. You have to. No. -uh. This guy at two P C Okay, I will have to close the Discord capture. I am disconnecting from this thing. And I also need to share it with you, don't I? No. I'm going. I gotta finish this. I'm getting hungry. Okay, then. I guess you can go now. Yes. Shaking my I'm head. Free. Uh, okay, no, then you stay with me. Wait, no, no, Yeah, let no. me share the game then. <laughs> uh, I already the have final your stream drawing while I watch the stream. Yeah, have fun then. But you will be delayed by like an hour or so. I don't know how much delay there is. It's like a few also, seconds. Don't you, want to... don't you want to hear the fantastic music from the game? It is pretty good. I don't know, maybe I'll read you afterwards. I'm only gonna be streaming for like one more hour. Too bad, they are coming with me right now. No, you can't make me. You yeah, are I have to. Screen, Kimi. I have to get all of the endings so chat can chat can write I their reviews. The, what for the chapter maybe? Huh? Oh no, I, I have clicked on the window and right now I have skipped the opening. Oh no, I have to open the opening again, but I don't remember <laughs> how to. Also, I have not connected my gosh darn controller. 
It is such a mess. Also, welcome Hex, how are you doing today? Today we are playing this Gaia 2 featuring our well-known uh, game uh, developer, uh, hang, hang Kingy on. No, I'm leaving. I gotta go back to my game. It sounds like you have a no, lot of No, you're staying with me, Kimi. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I have shared the game with you. You cannot go back now. Where no, the cable I can again? leave. I can leave right now. No, you can. All right. You can not? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> oh, watch this. No? <laughs> yeah. No? Watch, watch, watch this. No? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one second. Let me let me oh here. I will one second. There. All right, let's finish this. That was fun though. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the huge impromptu collab. It was fun though. Not gonna keep Zara around? You know, that would be kind of funny, but nah. <laughs> nah, I'm sure we'll raid Zara. After we're done. But I do want to get the rest of these endings. I want to go through the rest of them. Because. I wanted to share it all with chat. Alright. <laughs> I'm very proud of what I did. But I mean definitely do check out. Let me give a shout out to Zara. Shout out to Zara. There. Definitely do follow Zaro. I'm gonna be on her channel this weekend for her birthday. Also, she's playing Disgaea, which is a really fun game. I do like Disgaea too a lot. Okay, but I don't even remember what endings are we missing. I don't think we did a lot of stuff in the Adventurer one. Because I think we were mostly just gambling. Nothing will stop Kimmy from getting her validation this time after her class robbed her of it. Yeah, that's it. I'm fighting for the validation. <laughs> Please, chat, validate me. Okay, adventure. And then we're gonna go, I think we're just gonna go for, do we want to do the wilderness or the carnival? Let's do the wilderness. The guild receptionist tries to warn you against traveling to the dangerous plains, but you are determined to hunt some monsters down for money. But when you reach the plains, you are prepared to see how adorable everything is. It's a paradise of fluff and feathers and scales. Your hands itch to touch the fierce creatures. Screw paying off your debt. Petting animals is more important. Which will you pet first? And there's a sparkly griffin, chimera, the normal looking monkey. What are we, what are we gonna pet? I think... I mean, I guess we can just go the, through them in order, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chimera, it's like petting multiple animals at once. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> You've been a huge fan of snakes for a long time and knitted a hat for the ouch rope that serves as the chimera's tail. Aren't snakes in hats super adorable? Unfortunately, she hates top hats and bites you for forcing her into that monstrosity. You instantly pass out from the venom and wake up in the hospital. <laughs> and it was so worth it though. <laughs> Alright, warrior. Do we want to fight some of the super badass dangerous fights through badasses? Or do we do the middle boring option? I want to fight super dangerous badass. Wait, sorry. The super badass dangerous fights for badasses. This is very important. Gotta get it right. Souls like time. Alright. Hell yeah. Congrats on picking the correct option. Ignore how concerned the receptionist looks. Here are your options for what you can fight. Not that you actually stand a chance against any of them, but think about how cool it would be if you won. There's the emo wizard, the dragon of total destruction and annihilation, and the final boss. 
Those are our options. <laughs> I like all of these a lot. I have a lot of fun with these. I really did do this in like five hours. I submitted this like probably 10 minutes before class. I went to school early and I sat in the library and I just did this. The dragon, dragon's always loaded, all right. The dragon of total destruction and annihilation, level 999, HP 100,000. What will you do? We can use, uh, we can attack, use magic, escape, or plead for life. <laughs> All the debt and hospital talk definitely shows off your mental state at the time. What? No way. What? crazy there's no way anyways let's try attacking no let's try magic i think that might work better you attack minus one hp for the dragon of total destruction and annihilation the dragon of total destruction and annihilation attacks negative or minus 999,999 hp for you game over I'm in debt, my life doesn't matter. Screw the last one, we attack. You're so right. But it's over, we lost. <laughs> but it would have been so cool if we won. All right, what else do we have in Medic? I think we did all, we, we, we tried all of these, just didn't get the, all the endings for it, so. Should we smooch FN? <laughs> I was seriously, while I was writing this, I was laughing so hard, I couldn't handle it. Using magic and souls-like games is for cowards. We throw hands here. It's too late. We died from the magic. Actually, the attack and the magic do the same thing. I didn't feel like writing <laughs> a fourth one. I'm sorry. Anyways, we're gonna smooch Evan. What the hell FN slaps you before your lips make content? Attack, sending you spiraling into incoming traffic. You're carted off to the hospital, now with insane medical debt. But honestly, you kind of deserved it. Never smooch someone without their permission! See, this is because novel AI didn't let me smooch anybody, so I'm not about to let Chad smooch anybody. <laughs> they do the same thing, but the principle is still there. True. You're right. You're right. All right, let me take a sip of water. Okay, and then receptionist. Uh, accounting. We never filed for bankruptcy. You can't stop me. I'll write my own story where characters get to switch. Do it! And then share it with me because I want to see it. Anyways, let's file for bankruptcy. You go to file for bankruptcy to escape from your debt in the guild, only to see your request denied. Later, a note is slipped onto your desk from an unknown source. You can never escape from the guild. Dun dun dun! And we're in debt again. Isn't it funny how all endings lead to the same thing? Crazy, it's almost like I made the game like that. It really is where it all leads to the one ending, and then the ending leads back to the start. Okay, and then... America Simulator. <laughs> it was so funny because one of my classmates, um, they had... They had a game where you were gambling in a casino, and... Everything led to you getting a lot of debt too, which was really funny. Um, we were in the same group discussing it together, and but the thing with his is it was specifically the American medical system. <laughs> so you know it was pretty accurate. All right, let's see adventure. Let's try the carnival in a neighboring town. Traveling leaves you feeling tired, but all the vivid lights and smiles that you see when you finally reach the carnival makes you feel invigorated. You go to check out some of the exhibits, but stop yourself. Focus, you're here to find a job. What will you try applying for? And then we can be a clown, 
We can juggle fire, do fire juggling, or we can be a magician. Hmm. Yeah, good options. <laughs> I want to do a fire juggling. <laughs> fire juggling. Um, are you sure you want to do that? And there's yes or double yes. We're already a clown. Might as well get paid for it. All right, we'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. I'm going to say double yes. You become a human torch. Honestly, what did you expect? Thankfully, there were some guild employees with water nearby that were is able to put you out and cart you off to the hospital. And we're in debt again. All right. Next is carnival and clown. The only way to replace the clown is to challenge him to a duel. You put up your fists, ready for a fight, only to be immediately arrested by mysterious men in black suits. Remember, you're not allowed to fight people with an adventurer's license. You get thrown in jail and are faced with a hefty fine. Not again! Why are clowns like this? This isn't right. Do I have open in my other browser? Oh. Elite Beat Agents. My bad. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> I had my other browser open. I was like, what is there? Okay. Let's see. Um. Wait, what? Okay, <laughs> sorry. It was just playing weirdly on my screen. Okay, all right. Let us do a warrior. You know what? Let's go for the middle boring option. Oh, so you really decide to choose a boring option, huh? Narrator laughs at you. I bet you think there might be something interesting in these options. Well, I'll tell you right now that there isn't. And you know what? Just in case you think there might be an interesting option here, I'm going to give you far more options than usual. See just how much time you waste. Have fun. And uh, there's boring option A, boring option B, boring option C, all the way to... Oh, it doesn't show up, but there's all the way to Z. We've been challenged. We can't back down. We must persist. Boring option A. Wrong! The narrator punches you for wasting time and sends you to the hospital. Click! Cl get clicking! B! Wrong! The narrator punches you! C! Oh! C! Wrong! The narrator punches you! D! Wrong! The narrator punches you for wasting- No! Okay, E! Wrong! The narrator punches you for wasting time. F! Oh wow, you actually got it! Surprise! Here is your one interesting answer from a sea of boring answers. Congrats! Click here to claim your prize. We did it! There was actually another one. Fun fact! There was another interesting answer from Y. It's kind of a halfway between. Ooh, you're getting close! Haha, <laughs> just kidding! There's seriously nothing here! Give it up! Narrator starts throwing stale breadsticks at you and then sticks you with the restaurant bill. This is an Olive Garden reference. Everyone here may be familiar with the Olive Garden reference. Nobody in my class got it because nobody understands the Olive Garden reference. But chat, you guys understand the Olive Garden rest uh, reference, yes. Anyways. Kimmy risking her secret identity with that one. I know, that was getting a little bit too close. <laughs> um, let's see. Medic. We got all small town community. What about big city beefy universe? Yeah, we still have get a part-time job. You decide to get a part-time job at the university, but unfortunately they only have one offering. Human weight for the beefy bros. Yeah, you are the weight. The pay is pretty good and you really don't have to do any work. It's probably the easiest job you've ever had. Unfortunately, the bros aren't so good at holding back their inner strength, so they end up crinkling your spine in a way. Spines aren't meant to be crinkled. You end up in the hospital before the start of midterms. Man, I really thought we could have gotten rid of our debt that way. Isn't it crazy how everything leads to this one ending? It's almost like I made the game like that. 
All right, and then receptionist. Do we do everything for accounting? Yeah, we did. What about for paperwork? <gasps> we can file the paperwork normally and be normies, or we can snoop a little bit. We already snooped a lot of it, but let's snoop a little bit. You start looking in some of the unlocked filing cabinets to see what you can find. It doesn't take long for you to find your own personal file. Birth date, social security number, bank account number, number of hairs on your eyebrow, food preferences, remaining debt, age you made your first friend, extent of relations with even people you've passed on the street, it had every detail of your life, down to how many breaths you take in a single day. It was too much. You suddenly felt eyes everywhere, recording your every move. You had to get out. You had to run. They knew too much. You tried to escape, but you've realized it by now, haven't you? You can't run. <laughs> I was, you know, for a lot of these receptionist endings, I was kind of banking on people going for other routes first uh, so that they could, like, start to understand that there's something wrong with this guild because the, the idea of the receptionist ones is to, like, reveal a lot of the stuff heavily hinted at but not, like, straight on, straight out said like this. Queen just wanted to be held by big beefy guys shaped like Ganondorf. Maybe I did. Okay, wow. Are you gonna judge me for it? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, one second. I gotta open my window. It's getting hot in here. Okay, I have returned. Let's go. All right, um, adventure. I'm just sort of going through them in order. The wilderness, sparkly griffin, the normal looking monkey. What was the sparkly griffin again? Um, the griffin bites your hand off. Turns out the sparkly stuff was just magic to lure you in. But honestly, what did you expect? Oh, well, time to receive medical attention at all. It just bites your hand off. Wait, how do you heal from that? You know, it's fine. It's the guild. The guild has magic. Uh, maybe. Can we start it over heating the second she thought of smashing the demon? Can you blame me? Can you blame me right now? Um, you know? I don't think I can be blamed for that. To be quite honest. Regeneration is a six level spell in what? What, what game? <laughs> okay, warrior. We did all of the boring and the baby stuff, but what about the badass fights? Let's fight the evil wizard. I actually like the emo wizard. He's my favorite character. <laughs> D and D specifically. Oh, I see. I see. All right, the emo wizard. You think you can defeat me? The great wizard of the end, Malthazor? A man with dark hair parted over one eye pops up behind you, posing dramatically as he clutches a bandage-covered hand over his concealed eye. I know I look weak now, but once you see my true form... He pauses long enough to shake his head, his eye twinged with pain. You see, I have a demon trapped in my arm, and once he gets out, there's no way to save you. I annihilate everything around me. You feel yourself starting to cringe away, but decide to humor Malthazor for a bit. Do you have something trapped in your eye, too? He dramatically drapes his bandaged hand over his concealed eye, a look of exaggerated shock coloring his face. How did you know? Yes, the spirit of the great Archangel Michael inhabits my eye. He deems that I must root out all injustice in the world. Hey, wait, where are you going? You continue walking away, ignoring Malthazor's calls. Nope, this is too cringy for you. This guy keeps bringing back memories of your middle school days that you hope to lock away forever. So now you're suffering from intense psychological damage. Fortunately, you still need to pay the quest acceptance fee, and now we're in debt again. <laughs> I liked them. I had a lot of fun writing his endings. He has another one. <laughs> 
How cool, keeping my fellow demon kin in such a small place as just an arm. I know, so messed up, this emo wizard. I like, I don't know, I don't think I ever wrote it, but like I had Kellen and uh, Malthazor is actually really powerful, <laughs> but he's just so cringy, nobody can take him seriously. <laughs> Uh, medic, we did everything at Beefy, yeah, okay, but we didn't do everything here. We can apply to work as a barista at a nearby cafe or rebel against the system. Let's rebel against the system. You and some classmates are peacefully protesting against tuition prices at the guild school. Unfortunately, not many people decide to join in. Even those who do quickly lose steam and give up their protests. They still need to study for exams and maintain a job to pay for their classes after all. But you don't give up. You're outside the administrative building day after day protesting against the exploitative practices within the guild and the school. Till one day you wake up in a dark room. You can't stop the guild, the voice of an older woman warns. You can't make out any faces in the darkness, only silhouettes. We are more powerful than you will ever be. You feel a hand caress your cheek, not unkindly, but not affectionate either. Just give it up, she says, before the darkness overwhelms your senses. You wake up to find that you've been expelled from the school! That's it. <laughs> the older woman is also a reoccurring character. You might recognize her from Bingo! <laughs> Um, well, oh yeah, that was medic, so let's go for another receptionist. And we can do file the paperwork normally. You throw yourself wholeheartedly into your work, becoming the very image of a dedicated employee. You make enough to pay off your rent every month, but not much more than that. Days are filled with work, and you're too exhausted to do anything at night. You don't find your work very rewarding, so you calculate to see how much you have left to pay for your debt to the guild. Infinite. This is another place that I wanted to put variables, but I can figure them out in time. I mean, I, I did, like, only turn this in, like, five minutes before the deadline. Great, okay, well, more like ten, but you know. Should have challenged her to bingo for control of the government. You're right, but she would have won again. She's so good at bingo. How do you be good at bingo? <laughs> okay, adventure! Let's go to the carnival and magician. You're hired on the spot! The old magician retired due to workplace injury. Wait, workplace injury? Nah, it was probably nothing you have to worry about. Your assistant instructs you to get inside a box. You obey, innocent as a lamb to slaughter, till you notice your charming assistant pull out a thought. Suddenly you understand what they meant by workplace injury. You try to jump out of the box, but you're tied to the inside. Your assistant gives you a positively devilish smile and lowers the saw to where your torso is within the box. Panicking, you shake back and forth until the box tips over, shattering the fragile material and freeing you from certain dismemberment. Fortunately, the guild is not so happy that you escaped using such a method. They make you pay for the box you broke, which is apparently very expensive. <laughs> that one was another fun one. I snuck in a little bit of horror here and there. I did really enjoy the FN horror stuff. You know, where she starts eating your organs. I mean, they, she, they, he. Uh, warrior. And we can fight. I think the only thing we have left for the warrior. Yeah, the only thing we have left for the warrior. <gasps> We're done with the warrior. Now that we fight the final boss. Wait, should we do this ending last? Actually, let's do this ending last. We'll fight the final boss last. That's what we do, right? That's what we're supposed to do in video games. We'll fight the final boss last. Let's go. Medic. I think we only have... Yeah, we only have one left for Medic. Uh-huh. We only have apply to work as a barista for the severely capable adventuring mercenary skill. School. At least they were nice enough to stitch you up after all. I've known roommates who leave food out all the time. I know, right? <laughs> you know, they are kind of nice about it. So that's not too bad. 
Did you expect this to be a relaxing part-time job like those coffee shop AU fix you read? Hell no, this is a real work and the guild demands that you take it seriously. If you can't handle 50 hour work weeks and attending school full-time, that's on you. You said you were a hard worker during the interview and we expect you to prove it. Fortunately, working at the cafe leaves you too busy to attend classes and you end up dropping out. But you still have to pay for it. Man. Alright, receptionist. We did everything with accounting, paperwork, and let's be a receptionist. There's a retired magician and the great wizard of the end, Malthazor. Let's do the retired magician. A magician in a top hat walks in, clutching his torso. Apparently his assistant tried to cut him open and he had to retire due to the injury. But I need the money to pay off my debt, he says, pleading with you with his eyes. Please, don't you have any easy jobs? You search for something, anything for him, but the only available job is his old position as a magician. The light leaves his eyes as he accepts his job, staggering away from the guild counter. You watch his back fade away with a feeling of sympathy and regret, his fate reminding you of your own. You know, all the debt. <laughs> he, he was the same magician from the, from the carnival. See, I had a lot of recur reoccurring characters. I was having a lot of fun with this. Um, I think oh, we did everything with the casino and the carnival. All right, we just have one more for the wilderness. Normal looking monkey. The monkey steals your wallet, curious about what's inside. But when he sees your adventurer's license, he grows livid. He's angry that you would renounce the jungle and settle for an existence working for humans. You don't get the chance to correct him before the rest of the creatures take you down. You regret never being able to be friends with the monkey. Thankfully, a veteran adventurer saves you before you're eaten and takes you to the hospital. And now you're in debt. Still gotta go back and help the emo wizard. Yes, receptionist with the emo wizard. I, the great wizard of the end, Melthazor, can only accept the best of the best, the hardest of the hardest, the most justifiable of justified, the most villainous of evil requests that you have. A man with dark hair covering one eye poses dramatically in front of the counter, somehow finding a new way to pose himself after every clause. You start cringing away from this man, his antics reminding you too much of your middle school self. Answer me, dear receptionist. Do you not hear the calling of the apocalypse? Malthazor leans in uncomfortably close in his excitement. Your hand moves on instinct, grabbing the lemon from your tea, <laughs> squeezing it in his eyes. You're fired on the spot. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. He's just an emo wizard. He doesn't deserve it. But yeah, we got every ending except for fighting the final boss. Alright, I think we're ready. We're ready. Let me take a sippy. And then we'll fight the final boss. Calling up the apocalypse? No, I can't afford my phone bill. <laughs> no, I'm in debt. I can't afford a phone. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, the final boss. You come face to face with a granny? You're shaking your head, wondering if you got the wrong address or something, when suddenly the old woman disappears! You dart your head around, trying to see where she walked off to, when suddenly you hear a voice behind you. You're a thousand years too young to be fighting me, kid. You feel a tap on your neck and are seized by an immense, horrible pain. You have just a moment of consciousness to catch the smile on the older woman's face before you pass out. That's it! And you're in severe debt with the guild. Looks like you'll be working it off for the rest of your life. All you can really do now is hope that your next position will pay more. That's it! That's, that's it! That's the game. That's everything. We played the whole game. I hope you all enjoyed. I did have a lot of fun. I was laughing a lot at this game. Definitely. And it was also like... Hang on. Where is my window capture? Yeah. There, that's back to normal. I was laughing so much when I was making this game. I, I did, um... Kind of base this off of... How to put it? 
I base this off of Monster Prom, like in terms of comedy. The just the wacky, you never know what's gonna happen when you click the choice. Cause I really enjoyed that about that game. You know, I also just threw in a bunch of like RPG, stereotypical RPG and shown in manga stuff. And then also like, you know, fanfic stuff, of course. You heard her, just gotta work for a thousand years and ask for a rematch. Yeah! I don't, I don't know, I just really like the idea of a granny being the final boss. So yeah, that was Crossroads. Other than that, I have... The one that I'm most proud of, Hako Niwa. But I don't know if we're gonna have time for this. <laughs> I'm so sad. I don't want to rush through this game though, because there's so much to it. <laughs> I wanted to get to this today. Oh, wow. It's fine. We'll just play this. Maybe maybe we'll play this on Friday. I think. But yeah, Hako Niwa Miniature Garden. This is the one I'm most proud of. I drew this, by the way. Also, the feedback that I got for this game... By the way, when I finally got feedback, um, one person said to critique it, I didn't know you could press the enter key. It took me a while to figure out to press the enter key to advance. I have this right here on the title screen for that reason. <laughs> DM Zero, make him stream it. No, Zero's really busy. It's fine. It's fine. I really want to see people's reactions, but it's okay. We'll get to it. We'll get to it later. Yeah, I even shared screenshots here. I was trying to make this page more complete. Like, there's a background that I drew. I drew all the art in this game. I have some screenshots. I have a description. I even have development log. I have a walkthrough for all of the endings. But, yeah. I also have, like, uh, spoilers. But <laughs> this is what it looks like in Twine. That's okay. Now the spoilers are gone. <laughs> It's okay. I don't want to rush through this game because it's like so important to me and it's so good and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so I'll just wait until Friday, I think. Whoever that was that couldn't figure out the enter key thing has a solid career as a game journalist in front of them. <laughs> I was very confused too. Like, because I have it right here on the title screen. That was, like, before... Bef I put this on the title screen before they even said I couldn't figure out the enter screen, but... Like, to be fair... To be fair, um... The... It doesn't actually say... Like, when you get past the title screen, you can't actually return to the title screen. That's something that I was trying to figure out. I was trying to fix with itch. Is that like even re refreshing the page won't reset your progress for some reason? I don't really know what was up with that, but I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So that's why I'm in incognito, <laughs> so that like I can just make a fresh browser if I need to, because it won't let me start over from where I was in my regular browser, you know? I don't know why though, I wanna fix that. Because I want to like, you know, make it so that you can reset the save progress, but I don't know how to do that in Twine. I don't wanna figure it out because Twine's such a pain in the ass. Oh well. Oh well, we'll get to this on Friday. I think. Because I can't stream tomorrow. I have a club thing. Well, it's okay. I'll get over it. If anybody is impatient, it's on my itch page. But if not, I'll be playing it on Friday. Probably. Did, is Mina still, like, out? Because I know Mina said that she was gonna be later for stream. I thought she would have started streaming by now, but... Yeah, she's still busy. Alright, let's trade Zaru. Where is the... Oh, there's Zaru. Okay. 
Well, thanks for coming, everybody, and for enjoying my game. I really enjoyed playing it. I really enjoyed making it to my crossword word. No, not crossword. Crossroad. Why do I always mess that up? My crossroads game. Like, see, it saved the progress that we made. Like, I can go back here. And I, I want it to restart, you know? With Papa Jade Rabbit. I see, I see. That's okay. She can take her time. She ought to enjoy all her free time that she can get. Honestly. She deserves it. For real, for real. Yeah, thanks for joining me, everyone. I had a really great time today. We're going to raid now. Because I'm getting hungry. Bye-bye! Alright, let me read. Start raid. Alright, raid. Air raid. Alright! Thanks for coming, everybody. I will see you all when I see you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <gasps>